OpenAI just released their brand new ChatGPT browser called Atlas, which can take over your screen and do anything. But if you're anything like me, you probably ask yourself, how can you make money from this? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be giving you three genius ways to make money with this new AI browser. But to be honest, I should be keeping this a secret. Buckle up because this is going to be a banger. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll be showing you how you can get your hands on these free prompts. Let's jump into it. Hey, how's it going guys? So all you need to do is head over to Google and just search for ChatGPT Atlas. And first of all, I'm gonna show you how to actually install it. So once you just search it on Google, you can see that you get a top link and you just click on that. Now, one thing that makes this different from like regular ChatGPT is it's actually gonna be a browser, meaning you see down here, we have all these different applications like, yeah, Google Chrome, we have Loom, Zoom, all of these things. What this is, is essentially an app. Like you can see the ChatGPT Atlas will go down here. So how you do that is just download um, for, yeah, your laptop basically, if you're on Mac or wherever else you're on, just click a download and once you do that you'll be able to yeah get it as like an application so you can then basically just find it um like here if that makes sense so once you have downloaded it it's really simple takes like a few minutes you can then head over and actually jump into it and i've got some amazing prompts i'm going to be giving you to take full advantage of this so do not skip this video you have to keep watching um so let me just give you a really quick rundown on what makes this different. Well, essentially it can take over your screen and browser, meaning it can do things for you without you touching anything, if that makes sense. Um, so the first use case is like, you could easily just go and browse the internet. Like if you just, um, you know, search for like anything, to be honest, it could be, um, you know, you going to the latest AI news. And when you click on it, what you can see is, if we give it a second, you actually get this option at the top right to ask ChatGPT and it will be able to, yeah, do whatever you want on this. So extract information if you don't want to read everything and stuff like that. But that is like the bare minimum. I'm going to be giving you some absolutely insane prompts that you can just use. Um, and how you're going to do that is by switching to agent mode. So that, as I said, is the first way you can use it, but that's boring and not that useful. We want to take this up a level and go to agent mode. So you click on this. You click on agent mode and you just want to click login. So if you haven't logged in before, it will just ask you to log in. You click that and you can then just get it to do these prompts that I'm going to be giving you to actually make money using this tool. So all these prompts will be in the description. So yeah, I'm going to dive into the first one, which is going to be a viral strategy assistant. You can see how insane this prompt is that I've given it. And what we are going to do is quite literally copy this and keep watching because I've got two other prompts that are way more powerful than this. This is just to um, kick us off and to show you how insane this new Atlas is. But if we yeah, just take this prompt and just copy and paste it, and then all we need to do is click return. What it's going to do is actually open up the browser. So it's going to, you can see, take us onto YouTube. This is yeah, you can see it's clicked on his videos and it is most likely going to analyze this YouTube channel. And this could be any channel you want or multiple channels for that fact. And it's going to be able to find, um, if we go back here, it's essentially what it's going to do is find the most recent uploads and extract metrics if it can, like the upload date, CTR, watch time, um, then identify trending themes like emotions and narrative patterns. And then it's going to give us the top five proven viral topics. It's going to give us replicated title ideas based on current trends. It's going to give us the thumbnail concept. It's going to give us a 30 second intro script for all of those five videos. Um, and then obviously it's going to give us social repurposing ideas. So we can not just make a YouTube video on these proven topics, but also how we can turn it into an Instagram reel, a tweet, um, and stuff like that. And then obviously it's going to output with the format that we've given it. So it's going to give us, yeah, the titles, the emotion, the thumbnail idea, the intro script, and then repurpose ideas. And for this case, we've just gone for Hermosi, but you could replace this with whatever competitor you want in whatever niche you want. Um, and, you know, educating your market, whether you're an expert in AI or marketing is the best thing you can be doing moving into 2026 to build trust, which is um, a very, very important thing. So you can see that it worked for two minutes. And based on the most recent uploads um, in the last like two weeks, for example, but you can change that for, uh, you know, more. You can see that we can actually 
go back to ChatGPT and see this um, full screen. And it's given us everything we wanted essentially. So yeah, the top proven uh, video editors observe themes. So things like huge numbers and time constraints. Um, yeah, an unconventional time frame. So you can in incorporate time frames like uh, give me 69 minutes or something to evoke curiosity in your titles. And it's just a really great way to actually understand what it's doing well. So it's given us the title like we wanted, the thumbnail. So yeah, the best one, for example, would be a split screen, host an intense focus face on one side and a glowing robot um, with bold text saying 10 million in 30 days. Example, um, it's going to be the intro script. So yeah, look how insane this is. And this is an actual good intro script. So for example, I'd start the YouTube video being like, in this video, I'll show you the exact blueprint I used to build a 10 million AI company in just one month. Obviously, that's like an exaggeration, but you would tweak these numbers for what you've actually done, obviously. Um, but you get the point, like it's got in the 5P framework, so proof, which is what, which is what we want in the uh, intro. We want pain, which is the next thing. We want preview and we want um, punch. So those are, yeah, important things for the yeah, intro. And then it's got the actual like repurpose idea here. And you can tweak this prompt for whatever you want. Um, but these are like, yeah, I guess proven titles and that is just the first prompt. Let's take it up a level and move into our next prompt, which is going to be an offer and market research assistance. Now, if you're starting out having, a, you know, a market fit offer is vital. And if you don't know what market fit is, it's essentially when you, I mean, Y Combinator, I think gave the definition of market fit um, is getting your first 10 clients or customers that are non affiliated, meaning when people that aren't your friends or family or buying into you actually purchase your product or service, that is essentially when you have market fit. But you can kind of skip over that by using AI and stuff like this. Um, and we've gone for a prompt that does that. So for example, you are an offer research analyst, browse the web, so Reddit, um, X, YouTube comments, niche forums to identify real frustrations, pains, and desires that users express within a following niche. So for example, you would just insert your niche right here. So if we just take like, uh, let's say we want to help, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest. So let's just say we want to help like fitness coaches as an output, want to get the top 10 pain points, hidden desires or aspirations, offer angles, um, hook lines for ads or reels, output format. And yeah, we are essentially good to go. So let's copy this in and paste it in. And once again, this is going to be in agent mode. So it is obviously going to do the same thing of loading up the actual like browser and stuff like that. Um, and I just think this is so cool that you can like see it as it's doing it. So you know what it's doing. And bear in mind, you can just tweak this for whatever you want to do. Um, but hopefully it's giving you an idea of how to use like Atlas to actually solve like real problems, I guess. Um, so it's starting the search process. Um, you can see, give it a second and it's going to load up a new browser. But in this, uh, in this case, it's going to go for, yeah, this as the search. So it's doing all of these things for us. It's opening multiple web pages like you see Reddit and stuff like this. And it's just a hack that you can use to instantly get a better offer. I don't know why you wouldn't be using this in like 2025 or moving into 2026. And it's only going to get crazier. Like AI is going to get better and better. And it's actually quite scary. But if you want to keep on top of all of these things, just make sure you subscribe to my channel um, and stuff like that. So you can yeah get notified whenever something new releases and you can stay on top of these trends because those are going to be the people that win essentially. So Let's uh, skip probably until it's finished this. Just like that, it took like a minute. If that, we can, yeah, get our output. So this is perfect. So it's essentially got the pain points banked. So um, overcapacity and boundary issues. So coaches struggle to handle too many clients and referrals leading to exhaustion and guilt about turning people away. So one coach admitted they feel comfortable with about 20 clients. Um, yeah, I'm at 23 clients and yeah, so that's one pain point. So maybe you would help them build a, you know, an actual training program that isn't um, directly related to their energy, which they can sell as like a community or course or just like an evergreen actual productized offer. That is something you can maybe help them with. Um, so you take like, for example, coaches or personal trainers struggling in person, you help them build an online um, program that is more scalable. So that's like an example. But next is finding consistent clients. So that's obviously a big one. Um, so once again, you would tweak your offer to actually help them with doing that. So lead gen, you know, posting organic content, attracting clients and stuff like that. So burnout, burnout, uh, unrealistic client expectations, all of this jazz. It's really, really powerful. 
Um, and you can obviously do what you want with this information. But yeah, I think that's like a really good thing that you should be doing and it can do it for you, which is quite cool. So let's move on to the final one, which is going to be, if I remember correctly, yeah, a lead scraping assistant. So this is a very uh, powerful one. Let me just, um, yeah, copy it here. So if you want to get like, yeah, leads, cold leads and, you know, enrich those, this is going to be a great way to do that. So we've said you are a lead scraping and enrichment agent. Your goal is to find problem aware business owners, people actually looking for solutions like, um, you know, a hiring automation consultants or they need help with leads or receptionist. And it's actually going to be able to find companies who have put out that they are hiring for these. So then you can go in with your offer of using AI or automation to essentially do that instead of them hiring an actual person. So that is really good because most um, people, they try and pitch cold leads. But if you can find problem aware leads or people that understand they need something and then you go in with your offer, it should be a lot better. So let's see if it's able to actually do this. I don't know. I haven't tried this once uh, yet, but let's see. Okay, so I actually forgot to put in the leads that I wanted. Um, so let's just say, yeah, we want to do like receptionists for like SMBs. So we want people or businesses putting out receptionist roles for small to medium sized businesses. And let's uh, click go. And Okay, we are back. And yeah, it said that it researched recent postings, which is great. And it's been able to, yeah, get those kind of job listings from like ZipRecruiter, and I don't know if it managed to do any other ones, but let's go for right here. And it says it's given us a downloadable um, CSV, which I can't see. So I'm going to say. OK, so you can see here they got a few, but obviously you could tailor this to get like 50 if you wanted to. Um, but it has given us like the first name, company name, website URL, email. And this is like a really good email because it's actually personal because you can see the name is before the company name, which is amazing. Then we have their LinkedIn or one of their LinkedIn's. We have their Instagram, two of their LinkedIn, uh, sorry, two of their Instagrams or Facebook. Um, we have one phone number, but obviously what you would do is, which I didn't do, tell it to do like 50. Um, so not, you won't get free, you'll get 50, but that should give you like the, idea of what this can do hopefully and that's like my main goal of making this video is just to inspire you so you can you know do what you want with this information and take it away but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did just yeah drop a like comment subscribe and if you need help building your ai business feel free to top in the community um and yeah i'll catch you in the next video have a wonderful day